Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will talk about fundamental frequency. This fundamental frequency is related to the standing waves. So simply, if we have a string attached to two walls, so it's stretched like that, and somebody pulled the string upwards, and then he leaves the string. There are several patterns of waves that the string may make. A pattern may be like that. So that the string goes up and down, then returns to its uh, normal position. So, here is something that we have to know. The uh, length of the string is L. Okay, so in the transverse waves, this is a wavelength, a crest and a drop. The following will be a new wavelength. So a crest and a drop form a wavelength. So here we have the length of the string. And accordingly, we have only a crest or a drop. So this is half the wavelength. This is half the wavelength. And accordingly, the wavelength in this case will be to L. Let's um, see another shape. Another shape, maybe like that. So that we have one complete wavelength. So, the wavelength here equals the length of the string. So, what if we had a crest, a drop, and a crest? So we have one and a half wavelength, or in other words, three over two. In this case, the wavelength will equal <laughs> two over three of the length. And finally, we had crest, drop, crest, drop. So we have two wavelengths. The uh, wavelength will equal L over 2. From here, we can obtain a relationship between the number of segments and the segment is the distance between two nodes, this I-shaped part in the standing waves. So this is a segment 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the number of segments we refer to as N.
So we have a relation between N, L, and the wave left. Here, in the first case, we had one segment. We had one segment. So, the wavelength equals 2L over N, which is 1. So, the result is 2L. Well, in the second, we had two segments, because we had a full wavelength. So, we had wavelength equals 2L over 2, which gives an L. So, it works. At the third case, we had one and half wavelength. So, the wavelength equals 2L over 3 over 2, which is 2 over 3 L. Uh, and so this is 3 over 2. In the third, we had one and a half uh, wavelength. So we had three segments. So the wavelength equals 2L over 3 segments, which gives 2 over 3 L, and so on. So the relation between the wavelength, the length of the string, and the number of segments generated in the standing waves is that the wavelength equals 2L over N. We are doing this in order to get a value for the wavelength. Previously, we know that, that the velocity equals the wavelength multiplied by the frequency. We want to get the fundamental frequency. The fundamental frequency is the frequency of the first case. The frequency where there is a half of the wavelength the simplest form of the standing wave. What is the fundamental frequency? So, we want to get the frequency and accordingly we divide all both sides by the wavelength so we get that the frequency equals the velocity over the wavelength. So, the velocity divided by the wavelength, as we've just said, the wavelength equals 2L over N. So, we get the reciprocal for this and multiply the velocity by N over 2L. From the previous video, we know that the velocity of the uh, standing wave is the force of tension of the string over the mass of the body, which is the particle of the vibrating string multiplied by the number of segments over two of the length of the string. So this is what the fundamental frequency equals. Now we know where the fundamental frequency um, came from. So this is it for today and until the next time, thank you for watching and see you.